Hello, my name is Jerry Romine and I hope you're having a phenomenal day. The markets have been in the green this week and in today's video, I'm giving you five stocks that are ready to explode and we've been buying all of them so you know we believe in these stocks. And be sure to stick around to the very end for the question of the day where I go over whether or not it is too late to jump on board my top stock today because I'm going to show you how the last time we had the same setup, this stock more than doubled in less than three months. If you're looking for which stocks to buy without the hype and drama, then welcome. Welcome to my channel where my goal is to keep it short and sweet and pack my videos with fundamental and technical analysis that will help you make money. Let's kick off the day with a success story on a stock we're covering today. On Wednesday, here's the live trade alert that I put out on Upstart Holdings. Buy alert, UPST at 342.90. I set trail stop at 10%, breakout play. Stock started a momentum squeeze and buy zone today. Breakouts are not for everyone. Revenue growth forecast is 214%. After I posted the trade alert, Nicholas Cage provided additional information for our community with a link to a recent interview from the CEO of Upstart. And the next day, the stock was on a breakout and exploded with over a 10% gain. While The Motley Fool was giving you three reasons why Upstart is overvalued, we do our own research and technical analysis and put our money where our mouth is. And now that Upstart had a huge breakout day, everybody else is jumping on the bandwagon. And what about Motley Fool who forgot they said it was overvalued two weeks ago? They are now saying Upstart is on their five growth stocks climbing up their buy list. Motley Fool, let's just say I'm not a fan. What a joke. Let's go over everything in the real-time trading alert that I sent out. Number one, the price I just paid was $342.90. Number two, where I set my trail stop, that was set at 10%. Number three, what type of investment it is. This was a breakout play. And number four, the reasons why I'm buying, it was in a momentum squeeze and a buy zone. These are both from my momentum indicator and I'll go over that in just a few minutes. And number five, the trading plan is shown in the risk management bar. Will I risk $719 and buy 15 shares for $5,140? And that's assuming you've got a $25,000 account, but you can set that up to any account size that you want. The target price is $414.56. Our risk reward ratio is 1.5. And that just means that for every $1 we put at risk, we want a reward of $1.50. Our profit per share, $71.80. How's that for a trading alert and trading plan? If you want access to all of my live trading alerts like Upstart, my daily hot stocks, and my custom indicators, then join us on Patreon and Discord. This is what we do every day. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's jump into the charts and be sure to check out the Beast Mode scorecard on the left side for the fundamentals. Our first stock today is Upstart, which we talked about at the beginning of the video. Its ticker is UPST, and yesterday they were up 10.09%. Looking at our TOS bar, we can see in one week they're up 23.5%, one month 36%, three months, 234%, and over six months, 263%. And this is what we love to see on this indicator, all bright green. Our recommended trail stop is currently 13%. Our volume is up 7%. And on my current position, I am up 7.3%. We can see that their revenue growth forecast is 213.7%. And the trade alert went out on Wednesday to buy at 342.90. So that would have been right over here. And we can bring it up 342 right in this range here is whenever we went out to buy. The next day, boom, the stock took off on a perfect breakout. Looking at the chart, we also had a buy signal right down here, as well as a buy the bounce indicator, which is one of the indicators I have. And if you want to grab my indicators, they're all available in my Patreon. So check that out. Looking at the rest of the chart here, we've got a nice set of railroad tracks, which forms between the 20 and the 50 day EMA. We love to see that. And then coming down, looking at the momentum dream indicator, we just entered the buy zone right here, which we love to see coming off of the zero line. Our volume is just now ticking up where it's up over 7% and we had a MACD crossover, which is another buy alert for us right here yesterday. So all systems are go on this one and be sure to stick around for the question of the day where I go into a little more detail on this stock. Our second stock today is NVIDIA, ticker NVDA, and we just got back into this one as well. It was up 3.85% yesterday. Looking at our TOS bar, it's up 3.2% in the last week. It took a dip over the last month and was down 2.7% and then over 3.5% 
three months, it's up 20%, six months up 37%. Our recommended trail stop on this is 7%, and a low trail stop tells us the stock is not very volatile, which we love. It's had a little bit of consolidation here with really tight bars. So the volume is down 19%, and that doesn't concern me at all. And our current profit and loss on this is 2.7%. They also have a revenue growth forecast of 54.6%. Look at our momentum dream indicator. We are positive on the momentum. It's coming up from below the zero line. We are in the buy zone, which we love to see. And boom, looking at the MACD, we just had a crossover alert. So all things are looking really good on this one. And I'll probably add more to this this week or next week. Looking at our risk management bar, our golden question is, will I risk $97 and buy six shares for $1,305? Our target price is $241.63. Our risk to reward ratio is 1.5 and our profit per share $24.17. And if you're wondering why you're only risking $97, that's because the trail stop is 7% based on the amount that you purchase. Our third stock is one that I really like, and that is the Blackstone ETF, and the ticker is BX. They've got a revenue growth forecast of 43.9%. Looking at the chart, we can see they had a beautiful upward trend, and then they took a pretty hard correction, uh, dropped all the way down here to about $110. They're starting that upward trend. We just had a buy signal yesterday on them, and I bought them yesterday for my new $10,000 account, and I'll be showing you guys that pretty soon. It's almost filled up. Uh, yesterday, this one was up 2.81%. Another thing on Blackstone, I own quite a bit already, but I also own a lot of BDJ and I'm thinking about converting a lot of my BDJ into BX because I think they're going to have a little bit of a better quarter than BDJ. Looking at our TOS bar, they're up 5.9% in one week. They dipped over the last month and were down 9.3%. And then over two months, they're up 6% and three months, 19%. And then really nice gains over six months and one year. The recommended trail stop is low at 7%. Our volume is down 38% and they do pay a 2.3% dividend yield. And my current overall profits right now are 0.7%. And looking at our Momentum Dream Indicator, we are in a buy zone. And one thing about the Momentum Dream Indicator, the best time to buy is whenever it's right around the zero line heading up. We love to catch these types of movements. And if we get in well below the zero line, it's still the buy zone. It just means that we're taking on more risk. So we've been in the buy zone now for about four trading sessions. Looking at our MACD, we just had a crossover yesterday. So that's a really good sign as well. And our golden question, will I risk $91 and buy 10 shares for $1,220? Our target price is $135.61 and our profit per share will be $13.58. And I put the risk management bar on every stock so you can see what a trading plan is. Now on a stock like BX, this is a long-term stock for me, so I plan on holding it much longer. Our fourth stock today is Proficient, ticker PRFT. They were up 2.8% yesterday. In the last week, they're up 5.7%, and everything here is lime green. This is absolutely phenomenal. You don't see setups like this very often. We look at the chart, and you can see the same thing here. It's gone from $62.33 in the last six months all the way up to $130.86. It's also a very non-volatile stock, and our recommended trail stop is 7%, and our current position right now is up 6.1%. And if we come down to the chart, we can see we've had a little bit of consolidation. We did pick up a buy signal a couple of days ago. And now let's jump down to the momentum dream indicator because this is a classic setup. We love buying when there's a momentum squeeze, which are these red dots right here. This is whenever it fires out of the squeeze and goes up into a buy zone. And you can see that it really took off. Fast forward a little bit. We had a nice long momentum squeeze. We entered the buy zone right here, went sideways for about another week. And now it is absolutely taking off. And that's exactly exactly what we want to see. And this is a classic breakout play out of a momentum squeeze. Looking at our MACD two days ago, we had a crossover and another buy signal right here. All things looking great on this one. And our golden question is, will I risk $92 and buy 10 shares for $1,299? Our target price is $143.61. Our profit per share is $13.73. And if you look at this chart, how long will it keep going like this? I don't know, but I want to ride this train as long as it's going this direction. And our last stock is Tesla, ticker TSLA. Yesterday, they were up 0.89%. Looking at the TOS bar in one week, they're up 3.1%. And for the first time in a while, everything is green on Tesla on our TOS bar. Our recommended trail stop is surprisingly low, which I love to see at 6%. And my overall profit and loss is 51.9%. And that's because I own a lot of Tesla and it's treated me very well. But this year has been a really rough year overall for Tesla. They took a pretty big fall 
fall all the way down to 546.98. And they've been climbing out of that for the last couple of months. And here we can see a nice set of railroad tracks has formed and that upward trend is on. So I am looking at buying more Tesla and every week I also buy a Tesla put. So let's go over those puts. I sold the October 15th 570 put. I'm up 97%. That will expire today with a 100% profit. I sold the October 22nd 560 put. That is up 66% and that will expire next Friday. I expect 100% profit on that. And the same thing for the October 29th. I sold the 590 and that's currently up 30%. One thing we want to notice here is they do have an earnings report coming up and that's a little bit of a risk on Tesla because we've had a chip shortage. Their last earnings report, they did really well, but this one I'm a little nervous on. Hopefully it's going to go well. So I just plan on holding all of my positions. Might buy one or two more small positions and I'll continue doing the puts because I feel really safe with those. For the Momentum Dream Indicator, our momentum is up. We picked up a buy zone just a couple of days ago as well as a JR4 buy signal, which is one of our favorite buy signals. And three days ago, we also had a MACD crossover. So everything is looking beautiful here as well. What do you guys think of Tesla? Let me know in the comments down below. Our question of the day, is it too late to buy Upstart? You never know how long a breakout will run and this one just started. But let's jump back into the charts and I'll show you how the last Upstart breakout went from $163 and more than doubled to $343. We're now looking at the chart on Upstart and I think I said the last breakout started at $163. It actually started at $140 and then it had a very good earnings report and then boom, in a very short time frame, right at two and a half months, it went all the way up to $345. Now, if you would have been looking at it back at this time frame, you would have seen that first day whenever it popped up. And a lot of people, they say, hey, I'm not going to buy. It went too much too fast. And look at how the stock performed after that. Let's fast forward to right now and we can see we're on another breakout and we just had a big bar. How long will it go? I don't know. But I can tell you the last time we had a similar setup, we had the momentum dream indicator. We were coming right off of the zero line. Fast forward, we're on the momentum dream indicator in the buy zone. We're coming off the zero line. Plus, we just had a MACD crossover, so everything is looking good. So I personally am not scared to make these types of plays. And one of the reasons why is because I put in a trail stop. And even though the trail stop says 13%, you can set that to any amount you want. And many times I might set that at 13% or a little lower at 10%. And that limits our risk on these types of plays. As always, thank you for watching. And if you want my daily hot stocks, custom indicators, and live trading alerts, check out my Patreon. And if you want access to all of the tools I use, check out the links in the description below. Thanks again. Smash that like button for me and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.